I'm Malia. I am the co-owner of Loud Lollies with my partner, Kenneth. So Loud Lollies are made with 100% fresh fruit with no added sugar or preservatives. So we really try to support local farmers by buying fruit directly from them and having no middleman. We literally go straight to the farmer and ask them if we can buy their fruit. The point of Loud Lollies was to create something that was sustainable but still fun and needed on the island. We are really health conscious people so having a product that has no added sugar and is all fruits really means that people of any age from teething babies up to older grandparents can all enjoy it all at the same time which is a really amazing feeling for us and why we continue to do what we do because to see the look on a parents face when their child literally eats no fruit and they're getting their fruit intake from like having fun eating a lolly is like the best feeling ever and the kids are just loving it. So that was really why we continue to do it and believe so much in our product as well as all the waste from Loud Lolly's kitchen. So all the fruit scraps, the seeds, the pineapple heads, that all goes back into what we plant at Wasamaki. So we always have a steady stream of compost as well as things to replant into the land that is useful to us. So just right here within this bed, um, we have pineapples, which we're gonna be using for loud lollies as they start to come up. Here's one little one growing, hopefully gets big soon. And these are actually all heads that we already got from loud lollies production that we replanted into the beds. We actually, buy mango from a farm in Grand Coover, that's a mango and avocado estate. It's actually another permaculture farm that my dad's friend owns and he grows all different types of mangoes and we get it from him, already processed, and he actually employs families in the community to process them, so we're able to help like eight families in just buying the mangoes. Um, it's a mix of mainly julie with like ice cream mango and a few other types mixed in. And then we also have passion fruit that is sourced from all around Trinidad. We have different passion fruit farmers that when they have in season, we take a bulk from them and store it. Um, we started Lau Lollies five years ago as a random idea. I was actually working at Coco Bell that summer and uh, she lent me her moles to make some lollies that my friend Rihanna at the time was the manager of Green Market and she, they had a mango and pineapple festival and she asked if I can make lollies for that randomly. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll give it a shot. Um, we went to Green Market with like 30 lollies and in five minutes, all 30 lollies were gone and we're like, okay, I guess let's try this again next week. We made a few more. We made like 60 lollies again in like 20 minutes. All the lollies were gone. Perfect snack for the hot island sun. But we try to use a local fruit in each flavor. So each flavor usually has mango in it because we're just able to get a lot of that. Um, but all of them use fresh fruit that we kind of go around the island trying different fruits and whichever has it the best, we try to get from those farmers. We also don't add any sugar or preservatives to the lollies, so we really try to source the best fruits that we could. You can find our lollies in select super farm locations nationwide, as well as Starlight South Park and Starlight Maraval. Adams and Simple Choice Mini Mart in Cascade. They're also available for nationwide delivery via Sphere Marketplace and available here at Wasamaki. You can find us on social media where we post our new flavors and that's at Loud Lollies TT.